flat. And this is size zero. A few weeks ago, I encountered a girl in a black t-shirt with bold white lettering that read, zero is not a size. I looked down at myself, my narrow hips and slender thighs, and thought, well, this is awkward. <laughs> the first time I cried about my size, I was 10. I loved playing soccer, but it wasn't long until I was so distraught by being called chicken legs or being told I could be snapped like a twig. I didn't want to play anymore. As I grew older, when my friends talked about bra shopping, I'd cross my arms in front of my chest, trying to hide the fact that I had no need for that extra support. I wore padded bras, trying to conceal the chest I believed made me less of a woman. I bought my jeans tight, hoping if they hugged my body in just the right way, I wouldn't feel so weak, so exposed, hoping maybe I could pass myself off as a bigger size. Every gym class was like the approach of World War III, hoping I didn't look too ugly in my gym shorts, bracing myself for violent comments about my size, the harsh grabbing of my wrist to see if they could fit all of their fingers around it, the belief that I couldn't ever be as strong as they were, their judgments shaped as bullets, I was too helpless to dodge. And when we were talking about eating disorders in health class and the boy in front of me told the class that if they needed a visual representation of what anorexia looked like, they could just look at me. It broke my heart for my friends who did fight the battles of eating disorders every day. My cheeks burned in shame because they were being ignored. Their battles minimized, formulated into a playful game to make fun of the girl who could not change. I hid my face from the world, caving into the body that had become an abandoned house full of broken windows, garbage piled on the floor. Being size zero consumed my life for so long, it was all I could think about. I felt the only thing the world saw me as. My body was small, so my mind and soul became small too. I became the shame of my own voice, feeling I would never be anything but small. My body may not take up vast widths of space, but the space it does take up, it deserves. My hands may be small, but they are not weak. My hands scribble thoughts on paper, putting words to my soul, creating art to heal the world. My mind is not small. It is open to every person and every possibility in the universe. It is capable of vibrant ideas and incredible dreams. My heart is not small. Each beat fills my body with great purpose and great strength. My heart is big enough to encompass every being on the planet in love. Zero is a size. So is size four, so is size 10, so is size 18 and size 24. And within each pair of jeans is a beautiful body that is also a soul. We are the figures of the universe. We are powerful and we cannot be confined by numbers. My body is small, but I am not. <laughs>